Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm using these three palettes. Two of them are from Jaclyn Hill. All three are by Becca. So if you want to see how I created this soft look using these three palettes, please stay tuned. As you can see, I'm in a foreign place compared to where I normally work. And so the lighting is a little bit off, so please forgive me for that but I did want to give a review. I've been using these Jaclyn Hill palettes for the past couple months and I really like them. If you like a soft eye look, these palettes are absolutely stunning and beautiful. They're easy colors to build up, but you'll never have an over the top eye with these. So again, these are just nice soft colors that blend well. The, there was um, two shimmer palettes, or excuse me, two shimmer pans in here. And since I use this shimmer pan on my eyelid, I did not want to use another shimmer for my eyebrow bone, which is why I brought in another Becca palette. I do plan on doing a different eye tutorial using this palette in the future. However, for this eye look, I just needed a little bit more of a matte look for up underneath my eyebrow bone. Then, of course, this is a wonderful staple for most women. And if it isn't, it probably should be. So these colors are fantastic. And I'm trying to get, there we go. These colors are fantastic. You get some peachy pinks that pop very well on the cheek and the highlighters are absolutely wonderful and amazing. So I do love using these highlighters and as you can see, you do get a nice dewy glow with these highlighters and today I mixed both of them. So if you wanted to see one or the other, you got both. But I do love these palettes. Um, they do create a nice look and I hope you enjoy this video. As you can tell, I've already been started. I have used the Pamplemousse um, as my cheek color and I did a combination between the Champagne Pop and the Prosecco Pop as my highlighter. So as you can see, this highlighter is kaboom. We are going to use Jaclyn Hill's palette from Becca using these colors to create an eye look. And if you think my background is different, it is. I'm out of town. We're going to start with the color Cordial. Sweeping that on the crease. And moving up to the brow bone using Bordeaux on that same brush we'll sweep away any fallout Take a blending brush and blend those colors. Taking a bit more of the cordial, I'm going to sweep that above the Bordeaux just to make sure we still have a nice fade. Using a flat brush on Champagne Toast. We are going to use that on our lid. And I love this champagne toast. It just adds a nice rose gold shimmery effect. Because I've used some shimmer on my eyelid, I will not be using the Chardonnay out of this palette because it does still have a nice shimmer. However, I am going to switch to another Becca palette 
and use this color here. And this is the number one out of the Ombre Rouge eye palette. So even though I'm going away from the Jaclyn Hill palette, I am still staying loyal to the Becca brand for this look. So I'm gonna take that number one color and sweep that up underneath my eyebrow to lighten that up a bit. We're gonna pop that on the inner corner. It's a little bit harder with a flat brush. I didn't bring my favorite inner corner brush with me today. Going back to the Jaclyn Hill palette, I am going to pick up some Cordial on a pencil brush. Today I'm using Makeup Geeks Immortal on a nice brush that is slightly bent from e.l.f. Today's lip color is by Beauty Bakery and it's S'mores de Boers. I'm going to take ColourPop's Ultra Gloss Lip Lippy in My Jam and I'm going to place that over the top of S'mores. give that a nice, pretty, metallic look. I'll finish this off with some Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And that completes this look. Thank you very much for joining me today doing this soft look using the Jaclyn Hill palettes by Becca. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, if you could please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend, I'd appreciate it. And as always, make it a beautiful day.